Okay, so here they are, the culprits. They got trapped in this bin of stable mix, mostly because I kind of left the top open for 20 minutes while I went and talked to Susan. And I actually left a bag of popcorn in here, which was maybe ill-advised. But there they are, and they're kind of cute. So I guess the question now is, what do I do with it? I mean, they don't want to be in here. I don't want them in here. It's trying to jump out, which is kind of impossible. There's no way of getting them out of this thing. It's too deep. So yeah, I'm kind of tempted to actually catch them and just turn them loose somewhere like five miles from here. They've been ruining our lives for a while, getting into everything, eating everything, but they're kind of cute. Yeah, definitely cute. And they're terrified, which is not fun for them, I'm sure. So I am thinking that I will try to catch them and put them in something and take them on a long, long journey far, far away and let them loose and they will live happily ever after not in my can of stable mix. So that's it. Uh, it's kind of like a little mouse rescue event, I think, that's in my future. Okay, so there it is. Okay, there they are. In all their greater glory, I have captured them and they are in a container. And I'm gonna use my trusty steed, Jester, to waltz them halfway the hell up Mount Diablo, where they shall be released. And they shall go do whatever it is that mice do in the actual wild. Hopefully that's a good thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I have no idea. Anyway, that's it. Say goodbye to the mice. That's going to be their little parting shot. They are no longer going to be at Suncor. They have a bright future, I am sure. I, at least I hope. And uh, that's it. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, mice. Okay.